Hi guys, it's Elena. I'm back to do March BoxyCharm review for 2017. Now, I absolutely love BoxyCharm. So every month you receive four to five full-size items. And with those items, um, it's everything from skincare to makeup to um, hair care. So there's a lot of different things that you can receive in BoxyCharm. And they're all for full size. And for $21 a month to get full size items, it's not that expensive when it all comes out in the wash. You actually get a value almost over $100 or $150 every time. I know I've had a box that's almost $150 and it's $21. So it's an incredible, incredible um, price for for how much you get. So let's jump right in. This is the box. Boxy charm. I totally just held it upside down. Um, I forget I'm seeing the reflection. So sorry guys. So every month you receive this card. The theme of this month is creepy cute. And on the back, it has a list of all the items, how much um, they're worth, retail price, and how to use them. So we're going to start off with this first item. This is the Smashbox um, Photo Finish Primer. This is a very silicone-y um, face primer, which it's not my favorite, but I do like it. For those occasions, I want a very smooth canvas and very um, poreless. I love this primer for that. But day to day, because I do have dry skin, it's not the best primer for my skin type unless I mix it in with another primer. I actually mixed this in today with my, um, excuse me, with my um, Becca Backlight primer. So I'll probably be selling that other one just because I'm not going to use it or giving it away. It's $16 because it is the um, travel size pack. So then we have the Deluxe Fan Brush. Now this is by Crown Brush Cosmetics. So this is the fan brush. It's quite big. Mm -hmm. Let's see. It's quite big, so I don't really use fan brushes very often. It would be great as a highlight if you want something that's really blown out um, and not too much product. Um, I mean, for contour, but I typically don't use these fan brushes very often. But it is very soft and um, it feels really great quality. So in the comments below, tell me how you use your fan brushes. This one's pretty big, so I'm not exactly sure what you would use this for other than like um, highlight or like body um, makeup. But leave your comments down below. Let me know what you use it for. So then we have the Urban Rustic Palette. Now this is by Naked Cosmetics. And Naked Cosmetics is famous for their pigments. And their loose pigments. So I typically am not a huge fan of loose pigments. Um, you tend to get more fallout and whatnot. So I typically stay away from those types of pigments but this is actually a pressed pigment palette which is really cool these are the colors you have a like aubergine burgundy color which I actually used on my eyes today and then there is this orange color right here and then you have like this olive green and I will swatch them for you because 
They are super duper pigmented. Um, I've heard that they have a lot of fallout. I personally did not um, get any fall, or I got a little bit of fallout, but not too much. So burgundy, orange, and then the olive green. They are gorgeous, gorgeous colors. Um, so this palette retails for $39.99, and it's, it is on the more expensive price point for only three colors, um, like an Urban Decay palette, Naked palette is, I want to say, 50, and you get 12 colors, and this is 40, and you get three. They are bigger pans, um, but for three colors, I feel like $40, per, $40 is a bit steep. Um, but they are super pigmented and worth it if you are going to use these colors. Um, you would have to have a different palette to finish the look. I used this um, Naked palette and I, or Naked Cosmetics palette, and I used my Anastasia Artist palette for the look that I have today because this one's mainly matte colors. This is all shimmery. So keep that in mind, but they are gorgeous colors, gorgeous pigmentation. My tip with these eyeshadows though is to put on your eyeshadow, um, eyeshadow primer and then pack on the color with a paddle brush and then blend. You will reduce your fallout and I would always do your eye makeup first before you do your foundation. So then we have... This Mad Liquid Lips Matte Liquid Lipstick by Real Her. It retails for fifteen dollars, and this color is I deserve the best. It's a gorgeous color. I have it on today. I will say I'm not a huge fan of this formula. It is very sticky. I'm gonna come up closer to you guys. So when I close my lips together and then try to um, open them back up, they literally like stick together and like peel off. And it's painful. And actually, it transfers. Like the color transfers. I've had this color on for 20 minutes. Like it shouldn't be doing that still so I'm probably never going to use this again like I said it's a really pretty color but it's not worth the discomfort for me I would choose the Stila Stay All Day liquid lipsticks those are the ones I always recommend to my clients to my friends they are amazing um, I know a lot of people like lip scents as well I haven't tried them, um, but I do know that a lot of people love the Stila Sale Day and the Lip Scent. So definitely check those out. I wouldn't recommend this because, like, my lips stick together and they hurt when they peel off. I will be taking this off after this video. So that one, uh, it is a complete dud for me. I am not happy with it. Um, the Lip Liner by Her Real, or Real Her. This retails for $12.50. I do actually like the lip liner. It's very creamy. It's very, very creamy. It's easy to sharpen um, as well. So I was really impressed at how easy it was to sharpen. I thought, I think it's a plastic. Yeah, it's like one of those um, hard plastic um, pencils, which sometimes are very difficult to sharpen. This one wasn't. This one was really easy to sharpen. So I really recommend the lip liners. The liquid lipsticks are past for me. Overall, this box was 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 
about $100. It's a little bit over $100. So that's pretty awesome. Um, and also, you can review these products that you receive, and you get points for the Burt uh, BoxyCharm, excuse me, BoxyCharm um, website, and you can use your points to buy product. Um, but I do think BoxyCharm needs to do better about their selection on their shop because you can only use it on certain items. You can't use it to buy the items that you receive. Some of them are, but not all of them. So that kind of stinks. Um, you only have a few options, um, which I personally haven't found any that I really would like to use my points on. But I do really, really like the um, the idea of being able to review and use the points to buy items. Um, but definitely, BoxyCharm, please add more things to your makeup, skincare, hair shop. So, with that being said, like, comment, and subscribe down below. Bye, guys.